الله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم رضيت بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسولا ونبيا رب أعوذ بك من همزات الشياطي وأعوذ بك رب أن يحضرون ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم إن شاء الله we're going to start a new series on the Prophet عليهم الصلاة والسلام beginning with the Prophet Adam عليه الصلاة والسلام and uh, this is going to be our series we plan on uh, completing uh, all of the the Prophets uh, عليهم الصلاة والسلام mentioned so we're asking Allah سبحانه وتعالى first and foremost accepted as a means of uh, forgiveness and uh, purity for us uh, a short note is that uh, these are the people or the role models that Allah Ta'ala tell us to follow the Prophets alayhim salatu wassalam and their companions those who were righteously guided and uh, followed them so before we go to any other source we must look at the Quran what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala tells us to look into and the examples that he gives us there to follow before anybody else it doesn't matter how popular they are on the social media or otherwise the important thing is that you know the Prophet so the story of Adam uh, this is uh, page number really page number one Allah the Almighty revealed and remember when you your Lord said to the angels verily I am going to place mankind meaning generations after generations on earth they said meaning they the angels will you place therein those who will make mischief therein and shed blood while we glorify you with praises and thanks exhausted be to you and he Jalla Jalaluhu said I know that which you do not know and this is in Surah Al-Baqarah and he taught Adam alayhi salatu wasalam all the names of everything and he showed them to the angels and said tell me the names of these if you are truthful the angels said glory be to you Jalla Jalaluhu you have uh, we have excuse me no knowledge other than that in which uh, you have given us, you have taught us verily, it is you, the all no, the all wise. He Jalla Jalaluhu said, O Adam, inform them of their names. And when he had informed them of their names, he said, Did I not tell you that I know the unseen and the heaven and the earth, and I know what you reveal and what you have been concealing? Allah Jalla Jalaluhu says, and remember when we said to the angels, prostrate yourselves before Adam. And they all prostrated before Adam, alayhi salatu wasalam, except Iblis, who was in their mix at the time. He was not an angel, but he happened to be with the angels at that time. Um, and so he decided not to show the respect and prostrating to Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. He refused and was proud and was one of the disbelievers, disobedient to Allah Jalla Jalaluhu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, then has uh, said also, O oh Adam, dwell in your, you and your wife in the paradise and eat both of you freely, meaning both of you have whatever you like in the paradise with pleasure and delight of things therein as wherever you will you can go but come not near this tree or oh, you both uh, will be of the wrongdoers do not come near this particular tree so then the shaitan iblis made them slip there from the paradise and got them out from that in which they well, we said, get you down all with enmity between yourselves on earth uh, will be a dwelling place for you and an enjoyment uh, for a time. Then Adam received from his Lord words and his Lord pardoned him, accepted his repentance. Uh, verily, he is the one who forgives, accepts uh, a repentance. He is the most merciful. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, get down all of you from this place, meaning the paradise, whenever there comes to you a guidance from me and whoever follows my guidance, there shall be no fear on them, nor shall they grieve. But those who disbelieve and belie our ayats, meaning our proofs, evidences, 
uh, lessons and signs, revelations, uh, such are the dwellers of the hellfire. They shall abide therein forever. Almighty Allah Jalla Jalla who says, and surely we created you, meaning your father Adam, and then gave you shape, the noble shape of a human being. Then we told the angels prostrate to Adam, and they prostrated except Iblis. He refused to be of those who prostrated. Allah Jalla Jalla who says, what prevented you, O Iblis, that you did not prostrate when I commanded all to prostrate. Iblis says, I am better than him, meaning I am better than Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. You created me from fire, and you created him from Clay. Allah Jalla Jalla who said, O oh, Iblis, get down from this paradise. It is not for you to be arrogant here. Get out, for you are those humiliating, oh, humiliated and disgraced. Uh, Iblis said, Allah, me respite till the day they are raised up, meaning the day of resurrection. Allow me to live until then. Allah said, You are of those allowed respite. Iblis said, Because you have sent me astray, surely. I will sit and wait against them, meaning the human beings, the children of Adam والسلام, on your straight path. I will get them away from that, then I will come to them from before them and behind them, from their right and from their left. And you will not find most of them as thankful ones, meaning they will not be dutiful to you. Subhanallah. Very important, very important lessons here. Allah Jalla Jalla who said to Iblis, get down from the paradise. Uh, you are disgraced and expelled. Whoever of them, mankind will follow you. Then surely I will fill hell with you all. And O Adam, dwell you and your wife in paradise and eat thereof as both wish. Uh, but approach not this tree, otherwise you will both be of the unjust wrongdoers then shaitan whispered suggested to them both in order to uncover that which was hidden from them in their private areas he said your lord did not forbid you this three save or accept you should uh, become angels or become of the immortals uh, and the shaitan swore by allah to them saying verily i am one of the sincere well wishes for you both um, the question would be, uh, if Allah Ta'ala told Shaitan to get out, then Shaitan was able to influence them all the way into the paradise. Maybe the, the, the author will, you know, will clarify that. So moving along now to page number four. So he misled them with deception. Then when they trusted or when they tasted, excuse me, of the tree, that which, which was hidden from them of their private areas became manifest uh, to them and they began to stick together the leaves of paradise over themselves in order to cover their shame. And their Lord called out to them saying, did I not forbid you that tree and tell you verily, shaitan is an open enemy upon you? They said, O oh, our Lord, we have wronged ourselves if you forgive us not and bestow not upon us your mercy we shall certainly be of the losers Allah Jalla Jalla who said get down one of you and enemy to the other meaning that Adam and Eve and Shaitan all of you on earth will be a dwelling place for you and an enjoyment for a time he said therein you shall live and therein you shall die and from it you shall be brought out again meaning resurrected we imagine when allah jalla jalla who decided to create adam he addressed his angels and told them to prostrate before him he did not mean to ask their opinion or to take their advice for he is above that allah jalla jalla who told them that he Jalla Jalalu, who was going to create a vicegenerant on the earth who would have children and grandchildren who would corrupt the earth and shed each other's blood. That is why the angel said to Allah, Jalla Jalalu, who the Almighty, will you place therein those who will make mischief therein and shed blood? There are old traditions about the angels before the creation of Adam. According to Ibn Qatada, it was said that the angels were informed about the creation of Adam والسلام, and his progeny by the jinn who lived before Adam. والسلام, Abdullah ibn Umar said that the jinn had existed 
for about 2000 years before Adam alayhi salatu wasalam and then shed blood therefore Allah Jalla Jalaluhu sent on them an army of angels that drove them out to the depths of the seas Ibn Abi Hatim narrated from Ali Ja'far al-Baqir that the angels were informed that man would cause wickedness and shed blood on earth. It was also said that they knew that no one would be created on earth who would not be wicked and shed blood. Whether or not these traditions are correct, the angels did not understand that Allah would create a vice generate on earth. Allah Jalla Jalal who announced that he was going to create a human being out of clay that he would mold him and blow his spirit into him and then the angels should prostrate before him. Abi Musa al-Ash'ari radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrated from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said Allah created Adam from a handful of dust taken from different lands so the children of Adam have been created according to the composition of the land therefore mankind we have white red black and yellow ones we have good and evil ease and sorrow and what comes in between them Ibn Mas'ud and other companions of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said that Allah jalla jalaluhu sent Jibreel unto the earth to get him clay therefrom the earth said i seek refuge in allah from you decreasing my quantity or disfiguring me so jibril alayhi salatu wasalam returned and did not take anything and he alayhi salatu wasalam said my lord jalla jallaluhu so he's speaking to allah the land sought refuge in you and it was granted such because so Allah sent to Mikael for the same purpose in the land sought refuge with Allah and it was granted so he went back and said to Allah what Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam said to Allah Jalla Jalaluhu then Allah sent the angel of death and the land sought refuge in Allah the angel said I also seek refuge with Allah from returning without carrying out his command Jalla Jalaluhu so he took clay from the face of the earth and mixed it he did not take from one particular place but rather he took white red and black clay from different places the angel of death ascended with it and he Jalla Jalaluhu soaked the clay till it became sticky then he Jalla Jalaluhu said to the angel surely I am going to create man from clay so when I have fashioned him and breathed into him meaning soul uh, created by me then you will fall down and prostrate to him so Allah shaped Adam والسلام, into a human being but they remained a figure but he remained excuse me a figure of clay for 40 years the angels went past him they were seized with fear by what they saw and Iblis felt this fear most he used to pass by the figure of Adam buffeting, uh, buffeting it, uh, which would make a sound like pottery. Allah Jalla Jalaluhu told us he created Adam from sounding clay, like the clay of pottery. When the time drew near to breathe the spirit into Adam, in Allah Jalla Jalaluhu decreed, he commanded the angels, when I breathe my spirit into him, prostrate before him, Allah Jalla Jalaluhu breathed his spirit into Adam alayhi salatu wasalam and when it reached his head Adam sneezed the angel said say all praises belongs to Allah Jalla Jalaluhu and Adam alayhi salatu wasalam repeated that thing all praises belong to Allah Jalla Jalaluhu your Lord has granted you mercy when the spirit reached his eyes Adam looked at the fruits of paradise when it reached his abdomen Adam alayhi salatu wasalam felt an appetite for food he jumped hurriedly before the spirit could reach his legs so that uh, he could eat from the fruits of paradise Allah Jalla Jalaluhu therefore said man is created of haste and then the angels prostrated themselves all of them together except Iblis who was in the company he refused to be among those who prostrated Abu Huraira radiallahu and reported from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying Allah created Adam from dust after he mixed the clay and left him from some time or left him for some time excuse me until it became sticky mud after which Allah shaped him after that Allah left him till it became like potter's clay 
Iblis used to go past him saying, you have been created for a great purpose. After that, Allah breathed his soul, meaning spirit, into him. The first thing into which the spirit passed was his eyes and then his nose. He sneezed, Allah, he sneezed. Allah Jalla Jalla who said, May your Lord have mercy upon you, O Adam. Go to those angels and see what they would say. So Adam went to and greeted them. They replied, saying, Assalamu alaikum, as peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon you. Allah Jalla Jalla who said, O Adam, this is your greeting and that of your offspring. Uh, inshallah, we will we will stop here and uh, pick it up uh, from page number eight. And uh, I think a lot of information will come clearer as we move on. I think this was uh, may Allah Taala accept it, and we also praying for Muhammadu Gambia. You know, uh, we make dua that Allah accept him amongst those who are admitted into paradise. Uh, the matters of uh, <coughs> excuse me. Of, uh, of, uh, of uh, the Rasul Ali Salatu Salam will be the uh, the mothers in general will be there to 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 mingle with Muhammad Kambia inshallah we make dua for his family Allah bless them with patience and inshallah replace them uh, with better than what he has uh, took from them subhanakallahumma bihamdik wa tabaraka asma rabbik wa ta'ala jadduk wa la ilaha ghayruk wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-ali al-azim subhana rabbik rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursalina wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen